Surrogate Beats, DJ Beto. I moved my studio recently into this converted attic space and I hear some pictures of like the um, sort of before it was kind of unfinished floor. It had, um, you know, some sort of cross braces that were, you know, important but replaceable. And, you know, this up here kind of shows you how we dealt with that. And then um, the, um, the main thing I wanted to talk about was the acoustic treatment because I never had a studio that had acoustic treatment. And so now I'm, I'm trying to, you know, I'm doing it. So behind me, you can see like right here, there's a panel that I built into the actual, uh, the roof framing. And because I don't really have a lot of space up here, I wanted to do that. I thought I, plus I thought it would be kind of cool to just sort of embed them in the wall. I'll kind of back up so you can see the space completely. Uh, you saw the pictures of before. And so here's kind of after, it's, it's really cool because it has like this one window that faces um, that faces uh, south, which I'll probably have to cover at some point with uh, another acoustic panel or something. But I'm building it out, and uh, this is what it looks like. It's going to be uh, it's kind of embedded again into the two by fours. I'm going to cover uh, into these these roof rafters. I'm going to um, these roof rafters. I'm going to cover it with the fabric, and then I'm going to finish off the rest with regular insulation. And then I'm going to drywall the part except for this. So the, the fabric that covers it will kind of look like a speaker, like a speaker grill. Um, so it's gonna be pretty cool, I think. And oh, I uh, just want to talk real quick about the acoustic panels themselves. So I went with rock wool, the rock saw, rock wool, this stuff here. It's pretty easy to cut. You need one of these to cut it. Uh, what is it right here? One of these little like, uh, I think it's a drywall knife. And then to glue it together, because I, I wanted it to be like just, you know, just three inches or so um, on this framing, just to kind of be right under the framing. Uh, I could probably even pull it out a little bit so it's even with the framing, which means that there'll be a little gap behind, which actually is probably a good thing. Um, but this is mostly for like the first point of reflection. Uh, I'm going to put another panel on this wall too, so that there's going to be two side by side, you know, nice area that's going to be treated. Um, oh yeah, the glue. So if you're going to glue the panels together, the rock, rock bowl together, I use this stuff. It's called a uh, foam board, Loctite foam board. And it seemed to work pretty well. I don't think it's a completely like, you know, um, kind of glue job that would stand a lot of movement and stuff like that. But, these are going to just be put into the wall and they're never going to move. So I think it's fine. And let's see what else. I guess that's about it, folks. All right. The quick update. So I've been able to successfully install rock wool. And I think it's going to come out pretty good. This is what it's going to look like when it's done. So these ones are all, are all installed and have, um, I trimmed them out. Look at that joint, nice. So I miter joint, jointed them. I left a little bit of space here for the drywall. It's gonna butt up, butt up against this. And then I just put regular insulation. I'm gonna put acoustical panels against the wall also to cover that window. And so the, the space will be, you know, it's gonna be, not gonna be huge, but it's gonna be good enough. Okay, so now um, making some progress here. Here is the, uh, finished product. The drywall's up. It hasn't been mudded yet, but it will for well, the next time I take this. Here's the um, behind this behind this uh, fabric is some rock saw. And um, I'm going to put something on the ceiling probably. Probably put a cloud like right here. And then here's the back. The back's gonna have, I got that piece of plywood there. It's gonna have um, also like four inches of rock saw. Um, and and then um, I might put some up on the walls right in here, I'm not sure, but I think, you know, that should be a lot better than what I used to have in terms of treatment. So here's an update, you know. Yeah, so folks, here it is. About, man, three months later. It took me a while to get it all done, but um, here's the studio. Behind these little panels right here, they're basically like four feet by, no, like, yeah, no, like six feet by four feet. 
um, built into the wall. And so, you know, I was getting all nerdy about the treatment around it. And I definitely think I, you know, did a really good job. Um, hopefully my beat making will step up to the plate as well. <laughs> um, and yeah, you know, I got like, nerdy on the finishing. I wanted to look like a finished room. And so I think that it came out pretty good for a do-it-yourselfer. Props to my um, contractor, Rodolfo. He helped me hook up most of it. I did a lot of the finishing, but he did, you know, the heavy lifting. And uh, it's all done. And so now I'm just going to like roll out everything and, and start setting it up. But yeah, that's it, man. I'm done. Now I'm trying to make some beats. Yeah.